Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is Callum at Thinking Reef. So I just wanted to catch up with you guys today quickly um, about the green hair algae problem that I've been having. So you'll see it pretty prominently in there and in, uh, in amongst my zoas there um, and all over the tank really. So um, so yeah, so obviously um, there's been a phosphate problem I think at some point obviously for it to, to take hold. So I thought I would check my RO water, which wasn't the, the cause of it. I think it's what has been is a, a food that I changed to, which was quite a small flake, and it's basically been dissolving in the tank because all the fish haven't been eating all of it, basically. So I've uh, so done some tests today, um, and that's what I wanted to talk about. So I've done my test today. So on the left here is my uh, phosphate test, and on the right is my nitrate test. So ordinarily, when you've got algae, um, you would be expecting to see high phosphates, high nitrates um, in the system um, because that's what they feed off basically. So on the left here you can see is my phosphate which is completely clear so that's zero um, and then my nitrate here as well which is also completely clear which is at zero. So some of you might find that that's slightly confusing so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. So. Why have I got no phosphates and no nitrates, but I have hair algae in my aquarium, which you can clearly see, um, it's all over the place. So um, it has reduced a lot since I did have a water change at the weekend. So there could be that with water change and um, up in my quantity, row of phos and all that kind of stuff's probably helped. But um, what it probably is, guys, is that the algae is actually using the phosphate to grow. So the, the phosphate and the nitrates that are in the tank are actually within the algae. So the reason it's low is because I have so much algae that's using it. It's basically a refugium within your within your system. So um, so that's the probable cause. Um, what you will find is um, the algae will probably just peel away because um, because it's weak. If I look at the, the algae up here, um, if I just grab that, um, it's just peeling away. Um, and the reason that is is because it's weak because there's not enough um, nutrients to sustain it. Um, so that's a really good stage. So obviously we're getting there in terms of eradicating the hair algae. Um, the next stage is just to continue to, to scrub away at the rocks with toothbrush um, and kind of siphon it off, probably do an extra water change this week. Um, but I may actually also just do a blackout in the tank for a couple of days um, just to kill the rest of it off. Um, and just to try and get rid of it once and for all and then we should be back on on track with um, our parameters and our system so so yeah so i just wanted to talk about that a little bit guys because i know um hair algae can be quite a problem um in the hobby this is actually the very first time i have ever had a, a hair algae problem um, and it's on the back of my system doing really really well um, which is a bit frustrating but it's probably just a little bit of maybe old tank syndrome um you know it does happen with with systems that are a bit more established, things can fluctuate for no reason, or um, they can actually, in the back of the, the system, um, underneath the sand, there can be toxins build up um, the very bottom of the sand, and if it gets disturbed, it can go into the system and obviously cause um, havoc with your parameters and things. So, but yeah, we're getting there. Uh, things are looking a lot better than they were. Um, this area here was quite bad with it, and it's kind of dying off, as you can see. Um, obviously, the toothbrush, plus doing the water change and siphon it off and things at the weekends helped, so. So yeah, if you have any question guys about green hair algae or anything like that, give me a shout. Um, I've used a couple of products this week. Um, I've used some substrate cleaner um, and also some liquid sort of filter media as well. Uh, it's obviously topping up my uh, phosphate media and things. So yeah, if you've got any questions guys, uh, fire, me a, fire me a message. Um, hit follow if you're not following me on Instagram guys and I will also post this on YouTube. If you're not following me on Instagram, jump over there, get uh, get my following there. And if you're not following me on YouTube, you know, give me a wee subscribe on there. I'm trying to build my, my page up a little bit. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see, um, also give me a message on that. Um, or if you've got any feedback, guys, give me a message. Um, yeah, and if you're on YouTube, hit the bell button um, to be notified of my videos. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Callum on Thinking Reef.